Anything in your subconscious can be pulled into VR. You know that, right? Anything in anybody else's. Anything anybody else's. I'm trying to protect you. Who do you work for? Just call him the committee. Did your father ever take you into VR? I think it's playing with your brain. I love it. Love it. Welcome to the game, Sydney Boone. Chandler, what should I reread first? Duncan. You know, Sid, being that it's library night and all, I think we should move some of these first editions inside. I mean, after all, it is the rainy season. I mean, as long as it's okay with you and all. Is that okay, Sid? Sid. Oh, my God, Sid. Sid, come here. Come here. Easy. Easy. Get to I have to get away. I got you. you want, but maybe, maybe we should go to a hospital. No! Okay. All right, no hospital, no hospital. Just tell me, is anything broken? I don't anything? know. Duncan. Duncan. They got me. They got me. What are you talking about? Who got you? Who? You. Hello. 
Yeah, Sydney. Who are you? Where am I? Do you think you're ready to know that? Why did you kidnap me? Is that what you think happened? Are you going to kill me? Would that bother you? Yeah. Then I hope it won't happen. Please stand. Why? Because I said please. Good. Now take off your shirt. No. Hey! I could keep you in darkness for the rest of your life, Sydney. Take it off because I told you to take it off. Thank you. It's always best to be polite. You're with the committee. You know I am. I'm already helping you. What else do you want? We just want to know how you do it. I don't know how I do it. Then we'll find out together, won't we? Do you smoke? No. Leave it away. But then it's not allowed in here anyway. You seemed a little tense, Sydney, so I gave you something to relax. It'll assist your memory. Lie still, please. You'll answer all my questions truthfully, do you understand? of making you answer my question. Let's try this first, shall we? What's your name? Sydney. Full name, louder. Sydney Bloom. When were you born? July 18th, 1966. Are you married? No. Were you having sexual relations with Dr. Frank Morgan? Is that a yes? No. Where do you work? Tokyo. In what capacity? I work on the lines. Did your father ever take you into VR5? What do you know about my father? Answer the question, Sydney. I want to know what this has to do with my father. Don't we answer the question. No. I think you're lying. I don't care. I was wrong. I don't think relaxing is helping you. Ah! Hey, stop! Stop it! Hello, Sydney. We really should do something about the air conditioning in here. There's a hot bath waiting for you. Change of clothes. Something warm to eat. We just have to have this little chat first. Did your father ever experiment on you? <laughs> on your sister? What? Did your father kill your sister? Did he try to kill you too? Better idea. I've taken the liberty of pre-programming a landscape for you. I hope you don't mind. Yes. What? I didn't know who else to come to. You, 
You made it. You're safe now. Tell me. Like, you gotta come and you gotta get me. Okay, okay. Where are you? Just help me. Okay. Sid. That you? Sid? What the hell are you doing? Sid. That you? Sid? I first heard Personville, called Poisonville, by a red-haired mucker named Hickey Dewey in the big ship in Butte. A few years later, I went to Personville and learned better. for the weekend, feed Steed and Mrs. Peel. Huh. Happy hour. Do I know? Well, I know uh, nobody. I know. I could call me. I could. I could call me. Being me, it sits. Hello. Hello. Hi, Duncan. Hi.
kind of day in Hollywood. Beautiful smog, beautiful women. And it was my job to find them. This time, a woman named Sidney Bloom. In a hurry. I've flown answering service. A oh, Mr. T, is that you? It was that kind of day in the colonies. Beautiful smog and beautiful women. And it was my job to find them. This time, a woman named Sydney Bloom. In a hurry. kind of day in San Francisco. Beautiful smog, beautiful women. It's my job to find them. This time, a woman named Sidney Bloom. In a hurry. Sam. What is it, Angel? We got a case. Where are you? Mm, this is no run in my stocking. <laughs> Sam? What's the first rule of detection? What? Observation. Listen. What? Your heart. No, something else. Your breast. <laughs> that, the ocean. Yes. Look. There I am. What's this attitude, Sydney? When are you coming? You had yourself quite a night, Diamond. Well, seeing you doesn't make me feel any better. Getting careless, leaving your front door open. Yes, I am careless. Go away. I didn't know I had a front door. You don't. <clears throat> Lieutenant Discant wants to see you downtown. You, you tell Pete he can wait. He won't. You know her. No, I never remember. Her name is Sidney Bloom. That doesn't mean anything to me. It should. Looks like you murdered her. What are you talking about? You didn't go after her. You didn't save her. But what does it all mean? Hmm, exactly. Oh, my dear Watson, you astound me. The solution is easy enough. Clearly, the symbols stand for letters. Mm. I say with some confidence that the four symbol is obviously an E, which, as you know, is the most common letter in the English alphabet. Then it proceeds T A O I N R S and so on, so on. After some simple deduction, you'll find it simply means come here at once. Do you need a doctor? 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 Dad, the ocean. Yes. Strange. An ambulance, Watson. Mm, perhaps it's the phone. A phone? Hello? Hello? Hmm. 
Mrs. Steele. Oh dear. I'm too late. I know where she is. May I help you? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a patient. Uh, Sydney Bloom, is she here? Why, yes. Are you a family member? Yeah, s sort of. We've been trying to find someone to contact other than her employer, but she didn't seem to have anyone. Why didn't she just call me? I think you'd better speak with the doctor. First, I'd like to see her. Sure, she's in room 146. I'll just call Dr. Clark. Excuse me, uh, you're here to see Miss Bloom? Huh? How do you do? I'm Dr. Clark. Could we talk for a minute before you, you know, go? Not right now, Doc, all right? I just really want to see Sid. I mean, I know she was beaten up, but I'm more concerned about the drugs and the possible hypothermia. You're saying she was on drugs when this happened? <sighs> it's obvious they shot her up to get the information. Probably sodium pentothal, but who knows with these kooks. You know, there was no trace of drugs and certainly no indication of hypothermia. And when uh, Miss Bloom was admitted, she was hit by a car earlier this morning. What? Her friend said they were crossing to their car when she was hit by the other car. Her friend? The man that brought her in. She hasn't regained consciousness since the accident. I'm Oliver Sampson. You must be Duncan. How do you know? She mentioned your name a few times before she lost consciousness. Ah! Whoa, whoa, easy, easy, please, please! What? Dr. Clark, it's all right. I'm sorry, sir, we won't let this happen again. The situation's just a little tense. Please, just leave us alone for a moment, will you? It'll be fine. We run outside if you need anything. Thank you. All right. What can I say? I'm here, Sid. I'm here. So I keep um, wondering what I could have done. She was only a step ahead of me. You know, the driver didn't stop. I didn't know who you were, otherwise I would have called. Hey, save the Oscar Mayer for a picnic. I know who you are. She told me everything. I saw everything. Then you know why she went away with me for the weekend? I know you're part of the committee. Whatever that is. Yes, I am. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, Duncan. Obviously, Sydney trusts you a great deal. And I don't expect you to trust me, but I'm here for the same reason as you. You don't even know her. No, not in the same way you do, but I'm trying to look after her. Well, you can walk, because that's what she's got me for. And I'm glad for her. So why are you saying she was with you again? Training. After Morgan was killed, I wanted to make sure she could take care of herself. Handle a gun. I wanted her to be prepared. 
The night shift's mine. <clears throat> of course, we'll take care of all her expenses. She can stay here as long as it takes her to get well. I'll get uh, Dr. Clark to have a cot brought up for you. She's quite remarkable. I'm right here. Good. I got a little scruffy already, and I, I just know as soon as she hears this little bark, she's going to come right out of it. Whatever you say. Okay. Just uh, put the phone to her ear. Go, scruffy. supposed to be okay in here. We, we gotta talk. Great. Sydney's ghost. Not yet. Hey. It's good to see you. Sorry. My body needs to rest. How did you find me? I just took myself back into VR and found the clues you kept leaving behind. How did you take yourself in? A good conversation to have after we get you out of here. Oliver said you got in a car accident. He's lying. And the creepy doctor? He works for them. They all do. They're studying me, Duncan. Like a science experiment. Come here, I'll show you. If they do find out what it is, I hope they tell me. Get you out of there. Okay, Sid, you're gonna thank me for pulling my plug this time. I'll get you home. And all the egg cream you can drink on me. I promise. Come here. No time for shoes. We're gonna get you out of here.
think you're doing? Saving your life. That's what we're trying to do, too. I do. This ain't no hospital. Where are all the other patients? Why is she a black belt? What the hell is going on here? Take her back. Hey, you hang in there, Sid. I'm gonna be back, and next time I'm bringing help. Then I'm afraid we'll be forced to move her to another location. Perhaps permanently. So that's it. The committee just swallows her up, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. And I suppose I'll have to choke on a bottle cap, but hey, who'll miss me either, right? We are not the enemy. You expect me to believe that? You'll have to trust me. Those are the two most untrustworthy words in the English language. That's a matter of opinion. There's no more to say. Oliver Sampson, please. I don't know. Call for you, Mr. Sampson. Hello? Secret. Do they want to help Sydney? Yes. Do they want to hurt her? Yes. Want to know the truth? There is no truth. Job. I'm here to protect Sydney. And why did you hurt her? I didn't hurt her. You tortured her. I saw it. It was then, not me. What are you talking about? Take me to the hospital and I'll show you. The committee is a very old organization. And as with any power base that's been around for a long time, there are internal struggles. The definitions of good and evil become transposed. Things aren't always what they seem. You see? Her captors' faces were hidden. Sydney knew they were from the committee, so she gave him the only face she'd ever seen. Mine. But if they're from the committee, then you must know who they are. Yes, I do. They are the enemy. There are no answers when it comes to the committee. You open a door. There's another one right behind it. The more you peel the onion, the more it'll sting your eyes. Who is that? It doesn't matter anymore. There is no truth, so stop looking. What matters is Sydney and keeping her from the wrong people. Keeping her alive. Sure. But you don't know for sure. 
I know they're not going to let her alone. Why? Yes, it's not her body. I, I can go into the yard. Something else. Perhaps this will help us. to hurt you. I'm here to bring you closer in. Committee? Mm-hmm. It's 
is what you meant. Was it the river? I... Why is it? Let's find out together, shall we?